Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man army of 2 run. We're going to reduce the squad size to only 2. We're in month number 2, uh, end of it uh, to be precise, and that's the second attempt of the aliens to retaliate against uh, us, which leads to Operation Drunken Laughter. I'm not sure if it's going to be so much of a laughter, to be honest. Um, matter of fact, we know that this is uh, within the area of uh, the Warlock. And by clicking on the mission, I already he heard his voice. So I'm pretty much assuming at that point um, with the Haven Assault uh, mission that we're going to go and see the Warlock, which is very, very unfortunate because we don't have mind shields yet. Uh, that means we're probably not going to be able to actually beat him, but instead just uh, kill as many aliens as we can in order to get some experience. Roby is back from the medical bay, and let's hope we're not going to get an injury on him immediately. And we got our Templar Magister with us. Moderate difficulty assumes that we're going to fight around uh, 10 to 12 aliens. Um, hopefully in packs of two, that would mean we're going to fight pack four to five packs. Um, and yeah, other than that, as always, two faceless ones are um, present on the mission. Uh, with a low rank in Templar, we don't have parry yet, which means the class really needs a couple of levels under their belt in order to be this melee monster that we're looking for. Um, but that's going to come eventually, we just need to give it some more time. I wanted to play this combination, Templar and um, and Specialist from the get-go, because I personally think that their action economy is just phenomenal. And if we can get to the end game and actually promote them far enough and get the necessary technology, I'm convinced that this uh, tech team could probably... Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if uh, they can beat the game completely, but at least they can come close to beating most of the normal missions. Um, not, not very surprisingly, those two currently are far away from it. Uh, matter of fact, uh, they are pretty low level. This here is an, a very, very open ground, interestingly enough. So I am assuming that we are going to get into trouble. Um, yeah, that's the resistance here, and take a look at it, we got two armed resistance helpers, that's great, that's exactly what we were looking for, um, we're aggressively moving in, thanks, I know uh, how Templars work, much appreciated, um, yeah, we could go even as aggressive as to take like positions up here, but I'm not sure if I want to do that at uh, this um, point in the game, uh, we should be quite fine by just quite literally uh, taking line of sight and waiting one round. Yeah, I figured that would happen, so no big surprise here. Next round, he's going to summon his uh, f uh, first spectral zombies. Not sure if he summons one or multiple. I hope it's just one. Um, my understanding is that the number of zombies he's summoning is between one and three. It's going to in increase over time. Uh, interestingly enough, in a six-game run, uh, or in a six-man run, he had uh, more around three-ish. In the four-man run, he always alternated between two and three. Uh, so maybe with two, uh, two men, he's only summoning one. Not sure. Anyways, Blast Shield immunity to explosions is very bad, because that would have been our only way to reduce his armor. He's for sure going to have armor, because they always have armor. Uh, but he is adverse to Templars, so if we can get his mind control on cooldown, we actually should be fine. There is a pack of enemies right inside. The elders must have caught wind of our operation. They sent in one of the chosen. We should try to track that thing down and deal with it before it goes and... There's the reveal. Oh my gosh, it's lagging. Um, there's the reveal. We know that there's uh, one group of enemies upstairs. Interestingly enough, our defenders uh, take matters into their own hand and actually start um, killing them. Great. Let's move up into full cover and let's see if we trigger a pack. 
which of course we're doing and not only one <laughs> not only one we're triggering two all right sucks being us at the moment i knew exactly why i wouldn't want uh, to uh, go in first so they will focus on the civilians unless uh, we give them a good opening and we should give them a good opening one of which could be hitting the sector melee vulnerability perfectly helps us and we now have momentum going on uh, on for us so we're just dropping down here lovely getting in and out and I really don't want to stay uh, in the open like that's a shitty place to be sorry civilians but Roby takes precedence I don't I really don't want to stay uncovered there we go first casualties All right, spectral zombie time. There's the spectral zombie. Gotcha, gotcha. And he almost killed. He almost killed um, the sector. Head. Moving in. Got the spectral zombie inside. I don't want uh, it to explode, so we're taking it uh, first. Secondly, again, let's move to the sector. Head. There we go. Sectoid dead and we still have a purifier like up here and I saw a viper up here it hasn't moved ever since but I know it's still there so might as well continue to jump down here and see how things progress Double movement, interesting, interesting. Problem with the purifiers is they are kind of the natural nemesis almost of um, a Templar. Because killing them in melee means they are going to explode. Well, <laughs> that's actually more difficult than it might look like on paper. Like, this year would definitely see him, but we are in a crossfire because the Viper is technically still on the rooftop. We could climb. Uh, climb onto the rooftop. This here is a perfect position to see the purifier. But that's pretty much it. I really don't like it. Um, I mean, yeah, we could go for Volt. Probably could go for a Rending. But that would mean it's going to explode and we would take damage. On the other hand, we're running well, it could explode. It does not necessarily need to explode. Um, my main concern at the moment is we're running a bit out of time. On the other hand, I actually want to play it safe. I mean, we could also move here, take a shot, but yeah, that probably wouldn't really work. Um, the bolt is... Uh, the, Vault. Range attack is also not strong enough to, to take it out with just one shot. 
All of this here is super exposed, I'm not going to go there. Although this here would be a nice position to actually fight the guy. So I guess at the end of the day what we're going to do is... Play it safe instead of instead of like too aggressive. Putting ourselves out of range. We're going to injure him. Three is solid. It's okay. We are going to use aid protocol to make sure we're fine. And we're going to overwatch. Yeah, no surprise that, uh, that the shot missed. It's actually, it was to be expected. Lots of misses on both sides at the moment. And I think we're getting a new zombie next turn. All right, he's pretty, pretty injured. <laughs> Those guys just say screw it and stay in the open. They don't even take cover. Wow, a couple of stun lances over here. That's dangerous. But apparently the resistance, um, the armed resistance folks are focusing them quite well. It's good. I like it. Yeah, but that's a sizable amount of enemies. Wow. Well, again, another tough position to be in. I think uh, this here is the safest route to deal with it. He did not explode. That's good. Still know that there is a snake upstairs. Somewhat haven't really triggered the pack yet. And I tell you what, I actually like that fact. Taking another overwatch here. There's There are going to be a couple of shots. Luckily, so far on the civilian, the unarmed civilians, because the armed ones can really shoot back, and that's helpful it will reduce uh, the amount of enemies and we just need to be a little bit lucky oh, that's bad that's actually bad we need to be a little bit lucky that they are not um, killing too many of the armed uh, enemies wow yeah, that is bad. And I tell you why that is bad, because now, if the zombie dies via spectral rupture, he will kill all of the civilians. Wow, that's really bad. It, the, the zombie's actually in a really, really bad position. We do have a problem because if we kill, uh, if we do not kill the zombie, it'll explode on us. If we kill the zombie, it'll explode and kill all of uh, the civilians, and that's likewise the bad. Yeah, <sighs> that's a tough call. 
it really stinks losing all of the civilians. But I'm not sure what else we're supposed to do. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. So we're now down to... We're now down to almost nothing. That sucks. That could have been three civilians easily rescued. Overwatching here. The Viper so far hasn't moved and my hope is that the Sun Lancer will charge at us and our Overwatch shot will deal two damage and kill it. We're having way too many losses at the moment. That's a bit of a problem. We're down to nine, which means, I mean, they've killed three this turn. Another turn of uh, three dead civilians, and we would not have the chance to lose a single civilian. Well, so far, we at least two of uh, the enemies died. I think that's a good start. So that's one option. A flashbang grenade would be the other option. 21% is really not nothing to write home about. I'm considering going here and effectively, effectively trying to crit this guy. Problem is, I know that there is yet another pack back here. I think they killed one of them. There is another, a second uh, soldier. So that might turn out to be a bad idea. Moving to here would give us line of sight, but would still leave us in an exposed position. Just taking shots is also not a good idea. We're down to one piece of ammunition, so that's a problem as well. Although we're in full cover, so uh, the guy could move up to here though and expose our position. I think all, all else considered this year is the most aggressive but effective move in terms of applying pressure. Um, this here could be a place, but a play, but that's a pretty safe approach. Another one could be to move over here. Don't like that. Move into here. Also an option, but most likely it's going to pull the Viper. Which luckily hasn't joined us so far. And probably one of the safest plays is uh, 8 protocol self plus shot. Uh, it'll expose our entire ammunition, that's the downside of it. So we are kind of yeah, trapped in this uh, position almost. Uh, the advantage is, uh, though, that we do have a 50-50. I mean, we could even go up to here. That's kind of the suicidal play and directly push the gun into his face. You know, let me, let me probably do the following. If we're overwatching, he has a lower chance to, uh, to take a move. We are in a good position, so I'm going to reload and I'll take the safe route. 50-50, come on. 
Did not hit, but it's fine. We're still on Overwatch, so he will most likely not move to here. And as I was saying it, uh, he completely ignores all the wisdom that I had and instead just moves in like a madman. He normally wouldn't do that, but probably the small gun wasn't enough of a threat in order to uh, to let him not do it. Very good. They almost got this pack here completely killed. And he's probably going to die. Very good. Come on. Get a bit closer. Love it. I love it. Mm. It's alright. It's alright. I do have an idea. Let's kill this guy first. This here should take care of the Stun Lancer. Come on, you miss. Very good. Very good. Overwatch, that's perfect. He can still take a shot and die. you just shoot him why do why would you need to move like that's the most stupid act, action a resistance uh, force has ever done they took zero shots oh my gosh okay we need to kill the zombie that has priority Taking the 100% route here. By the way, it's good to see that it's only one zombie. I haven't even mentioned it before. And this here has a solid chance to kill the stun lancer. Alright, back into cover. Ah, uh, that's the wrong timing. That's the wrong timing, man. Ignore it. Don't, don't. No. Okay, I think that was the last one whom we can afford to lose. From now on, every single additional death will lose us the mission. All right, that's first shot. Like it. Come on, keep going. I am upon you. So we know there is still one more over here. We also know that we are too far away for us to be caught out. I, I really need to play it safe. That's the first and most important. Uh, yeah. Huh. Well. 
That could be a nice little shot. Let's get the trooper down. There we go, trooper down. Good job, good job. Alright, let's create a bit of a safe distance here. This here should be good enough. And we know it's going to regenerate a couple of hit points. Um, two to three actually, so might as well pump in some damage. It's down to half HP. There's the two hit point regeneration. Single movement, good. Continues to move, double movement. Still good, still good, still good. Couple of resistance shots, like it. We're continuing to see resistance shots, I like it. Alright, so we're going to give Roby the kill here. Or at least we're going to try to give Roby the kill. Of course, that was minimum damage. Thank you, Roby, for illustrating that you don't want to take the kill. It's fine. Alright, moving. We're still fine, we're still good. Uh, everything under control. Still got six enemies left over, uh, six civilians left over. We got uh, the grandfather though, uh, though. He's actually going to cause problems. There's the Spectre Rupture we were afraid about, afraid of. And let's make sure that you're not killing it, please. Damn right, shoot, uh, shoot uh, the Sun Lancer, but don't shoot the zombie. Not yet. Reason why I don't want it to happen is it stands right next to a car. And we all know what happens when things explode next to a car. Exactly. It gets messy. Alright. Could move up to here, but I think I'm not going to do that. Instead... Let's move up to here. That shouldn't trigger the Stun Lancer because this pile of uh, tires is in the way. It's uh, full cover, so it's uh, it will block line of sight. Currently time is on our side because uh, the Stun uh, Lancer doesn't move. And he is... Receiving shots. That's good. We're overwatching for now. And I'm doing this on purpose. Uh, we could kill the Sun Lancer. We could kill the Sun Lancer if uh, he is a bit more injured. And we're going to do that. But for now, he needs to take a bit of an injury. Which means we're taking our advantage that this guy here keeps shooting. The stun lancer does not retaliate. And at some point he will hit the full cover. Overwatch. The Viper is still in our back. We know that. Uh, but I can't change this fact at the moment. Uh, should be another zombie. Can't change the zombie summoning either. 
We might even be able to kill it before it will uh, do its spectral rupture. Overwatch triggered. Doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. Okay. Well, our Overwatch really sucks. There's the spectral rupture. Now let's hope that it's not getting shot down because that would deal again damage to Roby, which I'm trying to prevent. Well, nice, nice, nice. Moving back. And killing the zombie. There goes our cover. I'm considering... I'm considering if we want to kill the stun lancer right away. We could try to do that. I'm moving to here, killing it. But there is... I mean, we know it's here, right? So there is still an issue. Uh, we do have six civilians, okay? Three are in here. One is up here, shooting. One is here, and one is down here. You can see him here. Okay, these are the six civilians. I am con I'm still curious where the second... Um, where the second... Uh, wow, I'm blanking on the name. Where the second pile of flesh is. The faceless one, thank you. All right, so the faceless one. So we have three here, one here, two down, uh, down there. So it's a tough decision because uh, this pack hasn't been activated yet. If I just move in, uh, he will take cover somewhere. It could be here, it could be somewhere else. And it means even if we kill him, we're pretty near to the uh, faceless one. And I don't have an overwatch shot, so... <laughs> He's currently not doing anything, so we might as well just wait it out and uh, and let him be killed by the resistance operator. If not sure. It's really a tough decision. All right, we do have um, Overwatch if we would need to ha have it. I've decided I want to play it actively and not just passively wait for it. There we go, we triggered it. He moved in. That is not surprising. We killed him. Again, that is also not surprising. Now back into cover. Reload Overwatch. Okay. One more round and then there is another zombie. I think afterwards we can now... So there is another zombie incoming. Uh, which we are going to sort... Uh, we, we will not stand together so I, I really don't want um, us to be hit uh, both of our uh, operatives be hit by it. Um, so we're going to Overwatch and we're going to take the Viper out next. Ah, that's dangerous because now it'll start to set a spectral rupture and if the resistance guy hits, eh, don't hit it. Don't hit it. Thank you.
I trust. Maintaining this area. Bring the elders' mercy to the godless. All right, we need to be careful. Um, Know that the Viper is somewhere here. Closing on target position now. The Viper is in a strange state because we have uncovered it, but it feels like we also at the same time haven't. I will sense any disturbance. I'm ready. Reload. One more round, then there is another zombie. Problem with the zombie now could be if the zombie moves towards us, uh, the resistance operative might stand in the way, and that could mean that the resistance operative actually dies. So let's double check for the Viper. Moving up. Come on. Kill the Viper, Roby. Good job, man. Good job. Let's grab the loot real quick. Yes, Commander. Bounce laser side is good. Larium core is also very good. <sighs> Difficult. You know, the only Confirmed. enemy left over is the Warlock, and I already know that we almost can't beat the Warlock, so it's a very sophisticated stalemate that we're looking at. Rock and roll. The Warlock has the ability to mind control. If he mines controls one of our units, the unit will be considered an enemy. And as such, all of uh, the resistance operatives will take shots at that enemy. Uh, and he will die. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, a bad idea. We do have three armed um, resistance operatives. The Warlock himself like stands back there and even if his other abilities are on full cooldown I have my doubts that we will be able to kill him. Problem is really the mind uh, control. I have never seen that the mind control was resisted, not once, so I wouldn't take a bet that it happens now. And I would be even okay with the civil. Oh, what? Armor still holding. So, did he double move? Can the resistance folks please help? I mean, he has two armor. Like, what the actual fuck? 
I won't be able to to kill him. Yeah, sure. Couple of summoning abilities on top for good measure. That's the good old double move. Let's take a look at the resistance activity. We still have three guns, so here we go. Come on, hit the warlock. Nice little crit. They are dealt a uh, full point of damage. Wow. Two points of damage, like... Yeah, Volt, yeah, unfortunately, Volt, unfortunately, <sighs> there are so much unfortunate things with Volt. I mean, it would hit him, yeah, probably bypasses his armor, it would kill the other guy, but it unfortunately doesn't mute his ability to mind control, which is the biggest problem. However... I'm committed now, so we're going to see some issues here, uh, some fight here. Um, yeah, like, so what's going on? I need a good strategy for this gentleman. I mean, we could quite literally go here and then try to rush him down, but that might be a bad idea. We could hide. You know what? Why the heck not? I really don't want to fight him with fair means. So that way he can only mind control one person. One person is out of reach. That's okay. At some point the mind control uh, will uh, be on cooldown. And that'll be your downfall. By the way, you haven't acted. That might as well be GG for him. Come on, hit him. Help me out here, folks. We need all the help that we can get. Nice little reload. Good job, man. Three out of three. Bull's eye. Love it. Let's see what you got, brah. Let's see what you got. Got a nice little auto loader on top of it. And this here would take us completely out of line of sight, which is perfect. It's just so good because we wouldn't be shot by our own units. Um, Matter of fact, let's let just let's uh, let the Templar deal with him. Roby just reloads for now, and we keep him out of line of sight. If we lose the Templar, okay, that's bad luck. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Is the Spectral Army just down? Cool, Spectral Army depends on the number of... Obviously it depends on the number of uh, operatives still left. <laughs> I think we got it. All right, we're looking at... We're looking at... 
Five points of damage, we can't deal that with one go. Um, but we can move further away. There's the mind control. Did he just resist the mind control? Wow. All right. We're back in business. I quite literally have never seen that happen. Anyways, time to say goodbye. I'm so ready. Ooh, wow. I am speechless. Oh no. We're not done yet. Or are we? I think there could be a second phase this one. Wow. Okay. All right. That's one for the books, guys. That is one for the books. Um, give me that sweet, sweet little well done down in the comment section. Gosh, that was a close one. I even talked myself into, let's not do it, let's, it's not worth it. But being out of line of sight actually screwed with the AI. And we positioned him quite well. On point, six out of six civilians rescued. Six out of six, uh, so six out of 19, but six civilians rescued and that was the exact cutoff. Double promotion, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We're looking at revival protocol. Yes, thank you. And look at you. We're definitely going for Perry. That's not even a question. Amplify is good as well. Amplify is good as well. Nice, 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 nice. So let's take a look at the training center real quick, okay? So we could change this ability here from Reaver to something else, but we couldn't train it yet. We're just two points shy of training it. Another option could be to get death from above. I like it. Run and gun, by the way, also an excellent choice. Uh, Haywire Protocol, another excellent choice. All of those abilities are actually excellent choices. I think for now we're going with uh, Death from Above because it will change the landscape just so much. Uh, if if you kill someone and you can continue fire, uh, that would give us additional strategic options. Yeah, that's good. I like it. And Roby's back in business, baby. He's at the rank of a sergeant. We got the Magister with us. That team is strong. That's really good. I like it. Okay. Ooh, things start to look brighter. We won. No, we don't need rookies. Thank you. We won for the first time. Well, but... It's not all, not all uh, roses and sunshine at the moment. Uh, Avatar Project is already halfway through, so... Um, a soldier for seven days. That could, that's good, because I think the soldier will be based on your highest ranking soldier. So might as well be either a corporal or higher. It's actually a pretty, pretty good uh, catch. And look at us. Fantastic. Whew, that was good. Gather intel. 
health, health, aim, will, health, will. Okay, what's the shortest one that we can get? 14 days. All of them are pretty long. Fourteen days isn't too bad. Getting uh, more faction here will give us another resistance order. That's not bad either. The plus one health reward is actually pretty decent. Um, yeah, difficult. None of them are particularly hot, but I think hunting down the uh, chosen part one uh, could be a good uh, bet for now. In terms of putting uh, soldiers in, I'm thinking about um, using the Templar for the plus health but we're so low on the rank at the moment not sure if that's the best idea we could continue with Zirkin and Ranvan mm. yeah and why not I mean before we do so let's up uh, let's level up uh, Zirkin he's a captain now which is great I mean, having chain shot certainly helps. Two grenades, chain shot, shredder. Ah, oh, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. I like it. Let's give him the light machine gun. Good enough for now. And let's put both of them. We're unfortunately missing another engineer. I would, elsewise, uh, really, if I wouldn't have to do the uh, excavations here, I would definitely put an engineer into the resistance, um, into the resistance ring, just so that these missions would be faster. For now, we got to deal with what we do have. And I would want to actually give Roby, no, no, a random as a ranger, the additional health. And we're going to put Zirkim uh, with him onto the mission. Let's also put Praetor Nox here. So that way we only have a chance of someone being wounded, and that's pretty much about it. Confirming. Let's begin the action. It's okay. I think the reduction of the Avatar project helped us immensely. We're down to four. That's good. We lost one of our Elarium cores. Uh, that's cool. And someone got wounded. Uh, who exactly was that? I think uh, our engineer. Yeah, that sucks. The engineer is wounded, so uh, it'll slow down. That was the only engineer. Yeah, great. That was the only engineer. Good. Supply drop is happening soon. And it was an okay month. Uh, if you see, still there was some progress. Uh, however, we also had a lot of uh, good resistance activities. Uh, let's see what the Chosen Ones are up to. Training is bad. Uh, that is actually really, really bad. Crackdown uh, really doesn't matter. And uh, this here is not so good, but okay. This here would be worse. So maybe we can counter rapid responses. We're still continuing with Between the Eyes, no question asked there, because it's such a good, um, such a good uh, bonus that we would get. 
Now up to magnetic weapons, 30 uh, seconds. And look at that, a corporal sharpshooter. That's not too bad. And we got a scientist uh, to scan for. So the game recognizes we're really, really uh, low on scientists. Having that additional sharpshooter here will, uh, will help us a lot. Um, Not in the short run, but having a sharpshooter in case uh, Edgar and Poe dies would be super helpful. We definitely go for the scientist because we need to speed up our research. It's atrocious at the moment. And matter of fact, we do have 80 intel. That's not enough to buy at the black market. I would keep it for now. But our project makes a couple bips of progress. And not surprisingly, we found yet another facility. So we're back at half of the Avatar project again. Seven more hours, however, until magnetic weapons, and that is a very important milestone for us. Commander, with the advent officer currently in cold storage, we should perform the autopsy as soon as possible. We got our radio inspired, and I would continue doing that because I think this is actually super helpful for us. We need to build one, get the content, uh, content bonus and continue expanding. Um, the autopsy here is another option. So is the autopsy for uh, the officer. Let's use the inspiration to our uh, advantage and press on just a bit more. And it's a quiet time. We just got another scientist. That's actually really huge for us. Uh, the double the amount of scientists significantly reduces all of uh, the research um, time it would take. And let's take a look at the black market real quick. If we were to buy something, uh, scope is good, but uh, other things are good as well, so engineer would be super helpful. We do not have 115 um, intel so far. Speed is okay. Advanced perception is good as well. We are lacking intel. Anyways. Um, let's move on and get these supplies. And you know what? Might as well also upgrade the weapons because that's what's going to take most of the supplies, right? Uh, we're short on alien alloys. We need a lot of alien alloys and I am considering just buying them from the black market right away before we start the scan. That's a good way of spending the intel. Wasted four hours here, but that's in the grand scheme of things uh, not necessarily re uh, relevant. So we got a couple of alien alloys. Yes, please. Down to 37 intel. Oh, and look at that. Okay, there is an engineer, a difficult mission. Well, um, and there's another scientist. Whew. No easy missions, a couple of supplies. I would need to look into this. Let's do one more thing before we end this video. Uh, and whilst you are clicking the like and subscribe button, I will uh, take a look. Oh yeah, that requires engineers. So 
Thank you for not having engineers. Uh, with our engineer being on vacation, we cannot upgrade um, any of uh, these weapons. That really, really sucks. So we're going to do that the next uh, time. We have one more mission with conventional weapons and then we're basically switching over. Thank you for watching. It was a blast. Um, and we're going to continue the run. And uh, again, don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. Thanks.